Hi, in this video, we're going to look at about using Oracle Data Guard on a Nexadata clouded customer. In this demo, I will demonstrate how to enable and configure Oracle Data Guard on a Nexadata clouded customer. Now, let's begin. Open the navigation menu. Under the Oracle database, click Exadata Clouded Customer. VM clusters is selected by default. So choose your compartment and a list of the VM clusters is displayed for the chosen compartment. Now click the VM cluster that contains the database for which you want to assume the primary role. Then click the name of that database. Here in the demo, you can see that we have a primary database, HTAP PRD, with a DB unique name of HTAP PRD underscore DC1. We can also see here that Data Guard is not yet enabled. Now let's try to enable Data Guard. So under the resources, click Data Guard Associations. Then click Enable Data Guard. On the Enable Data Guard page, here you can configure your Data Guard Association. You need to select a protection mode that will be used for your Data Guard Association. So you can choose Maximum Performance or Maximum Availability. You can also see the Redo Transport Type used for this Data Guard Association. The next is to specify the values for the standby. Start with the peer region. Then select the Exadata Clouded Customer Infrastructure where the standby database is located. Next is to select the peer VM cluster that contains the standby database. So you can click the Change Compartment hyperlink to choose a compartment. Then you need to choose a database home. So you can select an existing database home or create one as applicable. Next is to configure your standby database. Provide a unique name for the database. Enter the database password. So your standby database admin password must be the same as the primary database admin password. You can also select the show advanced options. So here you can see that you can specify the Oracle SID prefix for the database. Then click Enable Data Guard. You can monitor the progress of the Data Guard Association creation under the Work Request Details page. Here you can see the work request information from creation of your standby database and configuration of your Data Guard Association. Then wait until the creation of your Data Guard Association is completed successfully. When the association is created, details for the database and its peer display their respective roles as primary or standby. Here we can see the primary database with the DB unique name of HTAP PRD underscore DC1 and the standby database with the unique name of HTAP PRD underscore DC2.